Decryptions. And with my 22 subscribers. There's something outside the computer this time. We're not doing the computer. It's these old things. If there's anything that I ended up remembering recently, it's these old books. Why are these so important, though? Well, it's because I've actually put a lot of old stuff in these. From many years ago, I think back to either when I was some sort of teenager, free teenager, or maybe even a child. I don't know. But there is old stuff in here. For example, the first page right here appears to be Sonic Advance 3, if it's just me, and therefore something must be uh, playing in the background, just unrelatedly. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. For example, first the Sonic Factory over here. Yeah, literally, that's, that's based on the game's actual layout. There's where you enter from the location, change characters, bounce up here. Tiny, not that tiny Chill Garden, but the Chill Garden that, uh, whenever I said when, when I got Sonic Advance 3, we thought that was going to be the tiny Chill Garden thing. It disappointingly isn't. It's the only game that doesn't have that in all ironicness. And then each of the, um, there's only six of them up here. Um, I must, did I forget about Chaos Angel or whatever it's called? Wow. Then you'd obviously step up to the side, and then... Route 90, Route 99! We get the Route 99 main area. In fact, that means it's not actually an act. It looks kind of weird is I basically put a lot of these in these notebook things. Basically, they're sort of like Sonic level maps, but they're arrows. Every time there's a, a little spring trampoline thing, there's always an arrow telling you exactly where to go. So, you'd sort of follow these with your fingers. <laughs> so, I don't know what the point is of this. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning. <laughs> oh, wait. No, wait, no. You're actually supposed to land right here. There's weird physics here. Then you hit this accidentally. There we go. These little things are boost panels. There's little um, rectangles. It's going to be really hard to do this because this is the only camera I have unless you want that laptop webcam. Pretty sure you don't want the nightmare of having to point that at anything. Too bad since I'm wearing gloves like you probably noticed and like you probably noticed in Doom Hacks while I was wearing gloves. I still wear gloves and there's a uh, one that's about to break open. There's not anything wrong with that finger. It just looks weird. And no, it looks like there's some brown liquid on it but there's not. I didn't like spill chocolate on it. But it's, it feels really weird. It reminds me of the feeling of like scraping your fingernails down a wall or scraping your fingernails against a chalkboard. It makes me sort of grip my teeth at the feeling of that. Just imagining that feeling and my teeth are my fingers going down it. It reminds me of that feeling, so it's really hard to move my finger along this thing. This is this act one. No. No, that's not act one. But no wait. This is really weird. Does that say, does that say it's about to say Night Carnival, and that sounds like that'd be Sonic Rush, if I'm not mistaken. But again, if you, if you wonder why I suck at the camera views here, it's because, well, what? For some reason, my, my tablet, which this is my OG G-Pad 8.3, not to advertise what this thing is, but, yeah, it's my tablet. And it looks really zoomed in compared to what I'm actually seeing. I guess as they say with cars, mirrors, uh... Things in the mirror look closer than they may appear or something or something, I don't know. But literally, my, my hand looks like it's right up to it right now. It's not that close. I'm not zoomed in either. This is how far I can zoom in until they're static. It still looks so zoomed in and it's really bugging me if Google's official camera app is glitching, but I hope I don't like get an error at the end of it saying, oh, you're out of, you're out of storage space. That would be so annoying. So they'd be like, after all this work, now I'm not going to have any surprises about what I find in these books. So let's hope none of that crap happens. So what is this? How are you supposed to avoid this spring right here? To jump over it and you're flying to this act ring right here? Number two? Wait. I mean, I should... Wait. Wait. That must be act one right there. If 
found it. I'm gonna jump in Act One. Just something tells me the next page is that. No, it's not. It's what's this? Oh, my M and M's. Yeah, many years ago, I actually ordered from the from the website Missouri of Blue and Orange <laughs> M and M's, and they had my name on them. Zane Rolls, Zay Myers, Zane Rolls. <laughs> Well, let's just say, let's just say that Zane Bulls is kind of an old, uh, an old catchphrase of mine. And of course, it reminds me of that thing that I referenced on, let's look at the old Zane.com, which by the way, I think my old laptop is somewhere underneath that blanket over there. But, as you said, it's like, not just Josie News, it's Zane News! This might have been done. This might have been done at maybe around that time. Me, I don't know if I was, uh, you know, like friends with her at that time. So I don't, I don't really know if the whole Zane News thing would apply. But Zane News did appear on that one. So who knows? It was made around the time when I was first a teenager. But what's the most confusing part? Is arguably what I just skipped. This is so ironic. It's like I get distracted in real life. It's not just because of my course of behaviors. I also move on from things and back up. It's, it's just like the non-technology version. So I'm still running songs in the background, but still. What's really confusing is the fact that, um, th the name of this place. Ninja Warrior Zone Act 1. Um, Ninja Warrior, oh, that show on G4. <laughs> it's like, let's, um, let's just take some Japanese competition show and let's literally show it to English. One time it did take place in America, but eh, that just didn't seem the same as seeing the one in Japan where everyone's trying to get across those obstacle courses. Also, I'm really confused about the layout of these places. I don't think I ever really paid attention to the layout of these places whenever I saw these, uh, these at times. Still, I don't quite even understand, but... Oh wait, this is the map? This is Act 1! Why does it have stages? I don't understand. Jump to here. Is that a ladder? Sonic games don't have ladders. Unless I'm thinking about a 3D one. The Sonic Advance 3 equivalent would be one of those uh, water things that you slowly jump up. Which of course we're also in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 if I'm not mistaken. But oh well. Stage. The Act 2. Cause this looks more like a stage. But the problem is I don't know where you start. Oh, is this a little spinny thing? It's just like Sonic Adventure 2 Battle right here. She runs them. <laughs> yeah, it totally looks like it. Little spinny pole things. Which I uh, made fun of Amy for for, <laughs> for for thinking that only she could do this one. I'm pretty sure Sonic and Sonic Advance. That's Sonic Advance. No, wait, Sonic Advance, you have that? No, Sonic Rush has its equivalent to that. Sonic Rush. But, uh, but Sonic Adventure 2 Battle happens to have like, this equivalent. Of course, I separate those because, well, Sonic Adventure 2, I'm not just saying Sonic Adventure 2 Battle added it a lot, but that's the only one I played. Also, this right here, you screw up, you're going to go on a very slow conveyor belt that bounces you up there. And these things, these things remind me of Super Paper Mario. I don't know why. I mean, I'm thinking maybe they're supposed to be the equivalent to those arrows. Some of my uh, areas have, like, right, left, up, and down arrows, and you literally end up following all of these arrows. And essentially, all these arrows, once you hit a button in them, you're forced to follow them. I've never implemented this into any of my actual games on the computer, which is so ironic. I bet that if I was willing to put enough power into it, this would be possible to script. But then, after that, A... This reminds me of a strategy guide. They stick those little letters at the end of every page so you can follow them. Then we get to Code Monkeys. Oh, that one. What's that also do for? It says, oh, I love you, horse! <laughs> he says like that. He's like, says it all weird. This one. Oh, I remember he has brighter hair than this one, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> this was the Code Monkeys zone. 
perfectly explains it, but... Is this a reference to Sonic Advance 3 as well? Don't those appear on, uh, Ocean Base? Oh, no. Don't those appear on Ocean Base? So, no, wait, no, no, no. I don't even know anymore. This is the grind rail, I just realized. Is that a chow right there? Is that, is that a chow? <laughs> I don't want to waste too much time hunting down stuff. Where is it? There it is. Ciao! <laughs> then there's a unavoidable um act ring unless you jump over it. <laughs> and that, these dotted things must indicate that there's a switch nearby that has to be pushed. Why is a switch underneath the ground? That chow is not a switch, so... <laughs> oh no, so apparently you're... So if you're in the, doing act two? And then meanwhile there's a cutscene go below it the whole time. <coughs> they kill monkeys, act one. <laughs> so I'm here... Mm -hmm. oh. My idea of level design here is very interesting. I don't think this is necessarily bad level design, but still. It's very weird level design. Like how am I supposed to get around that loop without a boost panel? Wait, I hit a sign. That's a sign right there. Well, Sonic Advance 3 doesn't have those spinny signs. I think. Well, I'm thinking Sonic Advance 1 did. But still. Whoa. And oh no, don't tell me the the, 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 the thing where you follow along the trail rings is here. Whoa. That, that's the cheapest shortcut to get to the end of a low ever. That low looks really detailed too. So it's Jerry and Dave's room. Since it's Act 3, I assume it's still part of Code Monkeys. Oh no, we also have a Cybertrack reference. Um, computer. Play Cybertrack music. I wish I was that was like a voice command. Play Cybertrack Act 1. Play Cybertrack Act 1. Unfortunately, we know that voice recognition doesn't work that good. I mean, just refer to YouTube's caption system. It rarely gets what I say correctly. And it sticks random cuss words in everything I say. <laughs> just as one more one. There's just three boost pills? Whoa. Oh no, there's arrows. Those are the arrows I was talking about. When you... I think that I would like imagine like a GameCube B button and when you push that it would make you follow along these. Forcefully, jump down here, you enter this thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then the camera goes to the side really awkwardly, like Sonic Advance. Then boom! Follow the arrows. Boom! Fly out of the level and what? Why is there a sign there that takes you back to the beginning? Well okay, question will load design. Ah. I keep taking pictures of nothing. Act three continues apparently. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna waste a lot of time if I try to follow each of these laws. I'm assuming the T must mean that they are temporary, but I don't know where the switch is that triggers these. The switch should look like like three rectangles on top of each other or something. I don't see it here though. So I don't know where the switch is here. Oh yes! And here is the Carnival Act 1 Sonic Rush! I don't have Sonic Rush's music on day I'd have disappointed. <laughs> I mean unless that really could be fixed right now, it'd be really awesome because right now I'm currently keeping a like running gag going on in the background where I keep playing music. It just happens to fit the moment, but this is the moment where it goes from Sonic Advance 3 to Sonic Rush. I knew I saw Night Carnival. A bunch of pages ago, I was kind of wondering if, you know, if that would ever happen. But here it is. 
Sonic Rush. We really need Scott Todd Child playing right now. That's what we totally need. That's the name of the song. Oh wait, they're actually named. Maybe they can type it. Scott Todd Ch Ch find it. Ah, there we go. Now we can play fitting music. Sonic. We're playing play to say you can't escape me, and then boom, flies and lol. Sonic, that's a background object. There's those weird buildings with the stars over them. <laughs> well, oh yeah, I know these things. <laughs> but wait, where's that lead you? That would lead you into a wall, and then Sonic would probably get crushed. <laughs> that's some iffy little design right there. No sense of speed, you're just gonna lose it all. Unless, unless I made you go through a wall for no reason. Yeah, and then... <clears throat> um, 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 I can't see the shadow. <laughs> Good on air. Yeah. Wait. I'm pretty sure that's not from Night Carnival. That's from the place that plays the ethno circus music. The, the third area. <laughs> so normally you go up on those, I'm pretty sure. The same things also appeared in Speed Highway, I think. I was thinking that's where they also appeared. Well. This would probably look really awesome if it was in like a Sonic fan game, but then it would probably just use Night Carnival's graphics and then none of the soldiers would even be possible. <laughs> Wait, it just led me in a circle! My Sonic all of a sudden always leads me in a circle. What is this? Shadow the Hedgehog? Damn, not here! I don't want to do that! It's like, I just had to make that reference. Stage 4! Um. Are we still in Night Carnival? I don't know. The music will not fit. <laughs> so well. I don't see any of the same gimmicks here. I see the arrows. I see a trampoline floating on thin air leading to a scribble. That's what it looks like. Really high walls that I bet Sonic, even at full speed, cannot go up unless... Unless this is Sonic Rush, then he could boost. But, uh... Otherwise, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> now we've reached our first non-video game. <laughs> oh no, not this. <laughs> now this is where the embarrassment comes in right here. Also, I cannot fix any of the shadow problems because this tablet does not have flash. It literally cannot light up. So we must end up reading what this thing says. I am Stan. And, and these are superheroes. I'm Parthenon! Hi, Gina! Hyper Strike! Probably this was a real show, by the way. <laughs> the Diffuser! Excelsior! <laughs> <laughs> then, lots of scribbly text so you ever even lost them. Meanwhile, <sighs> something. Parthenon, listen! Yeah! Even though you only said that's a one! <laughs> Do your super poses! Partheon! I am Partheon! Stand still with the hearts down! <laughs> and, mm. Good, Partheon did his! Now you all do the same! <laughs> I don't even remember these all out. It ended! <laughs> Wait. Sunset Hill. Time for a overused Sonic song. Y'all know what's coming. Where is it? Searching for. Ooh. Ooh. Shoot. Beats to Zach and Leap. Okay, let's play. Every Sonic fan is gonna hate me now. Doom fans, Sonic fans, and Rakana, all of them are gonna hate me, but this song is pretty overused in the Sonic series, but. Sunset Hill, Green Hill Zone. Sunset Hill Act 1! Hmm, are those little spinny- Oh yes! The little weird compass green things are here. They, they like, like you run into one and then you spin, you spin around. My mind can imagine their exact behavior. <laughs> it's, it's so 
weird. So. So. Wait, how am I supposed to get to that road? Piece of land. You go up here. Um, that's the. I'm confused about my level design. Oh my. I'm just gonna go in here and hit this. Boing. Land on top of that. Boing. 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 Then, what's that? What's that? What's that giant ring up there? I don't see any other rings. Did I go on the outside? Um, <laughs> that's another reason why I shouldn't follow my little design. It doesn't have any uh, set pattern. Also, Castlevania, can you stop telling me I died? <laughs> Either that or Sigma stole Castlevania music. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, and now we've now reached the dream? Yes, I might post them on Facebook nowadays, which sadly none of you can see. Which is really unfortunate, which means I really should just tell you about them directly, but still. Unfortunately, a lot of these cannot actually be remembered. There are certain points that I can remember about some of them. But however, this is one of them I can't. Still, dream. Mario Party DS, which there is an actual Mario Party DS, but I'm pretty sure it would be nothing like this dream. Oh, this one. Apparently, like, an object would appear, you touch it to make it vanish, as it says right there. Pull, say, oh, bust a move? What's the move DS doing here? Clearly, these were just very quick drawings after I woke up. This was the predecessor to the Facebook uh, posting of dreams. Hashtag Zane Dream, but otherwise. I'm hoping that anyone on Facebook can search for hashtag Zane Dream and they might be able to, to define the post. Since I make them public, they should be able to be viewed. What I hate is how they say that people who aren't on Facebook can't view your um, public posts. Well, they can view them, but that's a lie. No one can view your public posts. They force you to sign in, only if you link to one directly. It's really stupid. They can't view your page without being signed in. But eh. Facebook already has done enough nonsense with their URL censorship crap. But still. Zenum.tk. I mean, censored. You cannot use those words. <laughs> Alright. To transfer audio from TV. Susiba! Yeah, right there is another reference to Susiba. It isn't just referenced in my games. Sissy Bug gets referenced a lot. But it's really hard to see these and look at the same time. But that picture up there is a note. That's Snoozles holding the Sissy Bug Dream Wand. Which again, Steve sighed. If you ever watch any of my videos and then try to screw up my channel, then uh, may I just say if you're if you're ever deciding to get rid of that uh, prop of the Sissy Bug Dream Wand, I wouldn't mind getting it because. I, I bet even today I'd find it kind of cute and a fascinating thing to own. But eh, with how many magical girl weapons I own nowadays, magical girl weapons have practically beat the Sissy Bug Dream on in terms of cuteness. At least they actually have a backside to stick their batteries in, while I think whenever Michael Stork holded, he, like, he was like, hmm, 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 and he turned it around, and then boom, you could see the backside of the cloud and the S, and the S literally cut off at the back. Yeah, I don't think Michael Stork realized that um, the back of the prop is not supposed to be seen by the camera. It's like me going out of bounds at a doom hack and, uh, just not, not acting like I noticed those hall mirrors and slime trail-like things. But, um, where is it? Store... Let's go ahead and play the only system I song you have backwards in the background. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm doing this. Because Steve Sides gonna be like, oh, you're playing backwards music again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna report this video for copyright and then get your your channel screwed up. Because I think I played um, what 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 was it? Was it Will the Sussies or was it Sussy by Sharing? What was it? It was one of them played backwards, and then it got my whole YouTube uh, account screwed up because I uploaded the video of it. Yeah, now I just remembered. That's what caused my uh, Zaynum One Two Three account to get screwed up in the past. Thanks, Steve Syatt. <laughs> but still, I don't see anything else here that's happening, except for Trump to play- Oh wait! I see what's happening. So in the first picture, 
I'm holding that, um, microphone that would, like, it would, like, whenever you turned it on, if it was too close to the radio, it would cause, uh, feedback. But if it's far enough away, then, well, if you tune to a certain station on the radio, you'd actually hear what it was recording. Shoes aren't obsolete, by the way. <laughs> but then as soon as you would switch it to line, it would start playing the audio from the TV you're recording of Sissiba. I don't know why you'd record from Sissiba. I guess I've decided to turn this into a video where I just... This is going to make the video really slow. But oh well, we have to hear some butchered French anyways. Bon Jork. I can't get over how he has a K to the end of Bon Jork. Says Bon Jork. I'm just finding the next part because this part is so relevant. On the very next page, it says step out two, two or two sound recorder steps. Sound recorder. Look at that weird imitation of the sound recorder interface, which I also opened on here. Sound Recorder, that's the Windows XP version, but much slower enough to the Windows 2000 version. This has assume it's Windows 2000. As I've said, I sadly never owned Windows XP. Only owned Windows 2000, then... Vista! Blah! But still, here's a little helpful layout of this very small window. <laughs> Total time on the right. Position and sound. That's probably that long. No, wait, no, no, it's not. It's it's the little time off to the left. Three is sound waves, which resembles a line in both versions. Controls for sound at the very bottom. Um, there's something wrong here. That's only four buttons. What is that? Rewind, play, stop, and record. Um, I forgot about the second button. Fast forward. Still. Then five menus, which is typical for a Windows program. Or should I say, app! Even though not even Microsoft knows what an app is because... Because to this day, they still say... Uh, where is it? It's, where is it? Because they still say, pin this program to the taskbar. Yeah, um, what's a program, Microsoft? You've told me what an app is. What is a program? Why are there still folders named Program Files and Program Data? Uh, Microsoft, you should have never decided to change the uh, name of that. Also, is this transition? Oh no, and then suddenly next, we jump straight back to that comic! <laughs> oh my. No. What's it? What does it say? Oh my, I can't read this. Um. I don't even know what that says. The. The. Treat. Act. Later. The. No. Trios stack up R Hygiena the uh, something and Hyper Strike. I knew it there. Hold it, superheroes. Dr. Dark is in the city. Whoa! Whoa, indeed. Come on, let's go, team. Ha! It looks like the Super Zeros. Something. But will they? Think otherwise, Dr. Dark. Huh? Because <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Where's the other gun from? <laughs> the diffuser. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> then, I never finished the, the, the pose at the end. That's two four scribbles. That resembles it up. Oh, no! No, another one. The mixture on the... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this this is almost like the my book, but arguably worse. I mean, the my book had some old embarrassing things like general mini crappy samples popping up in my music, <laughs> lots of bad choices, lots of weird content, but it still brought back some memories. This may, but not as many as the my book. It has more embarrassing stories. <laughs> yeah, some are more embarrassing stuff there in it. Nothing about, oh, I don't know, cute-looking girls, cute-looking wands, which I literally spent like, lots of minutes talking about in one of the Let's Devolt Portal mods, and lots of 
girly little cute weapons. Damn it, the, the cure stick, pine flute, and the peach rod are pretty cute weapons for a brush pretty girl. Still there. Now we need to read this embarrassingness. <coughs> hey, Kai! You there? Story character's dead on me. Hmm? Kai? Is that really you, Kai? Yes, it's me, Zen. Then, uh. <gasps> Ellie Bit! Yes, this is about the Ellie bits, in case you wonder. <laughs> and that's literally what they do in the game right there, by the way. It's the red one, I think. <laughs> oh, look, gray, gray. And I spelled it with an A, the American way. I normally spell it G R E Y, by the way. If you ever see that, don't think I'm British. No, my lack of accent will give that away. But that's gray GameCube controller? wonder if we still have that controller. Because <laughs> I can totally imagine it in my mind right now. This one says, look, something. <laughs> then meanwhile, I'll zoom in on the GameCube controller. <laughs> By the way, I know you could say that, um, you could say, um, Zane, you say that your human anatomy looks really bad and it's not based on any real anatomy. But hey, look at my older drawings. There's some weird anatomy right there. Arms coming out of the middle of their body without any shoulders. <laughs> Even Mary has little tiny shoulder um circle things and her arms come from them so this reminds me of super mario sunshine because it's how the text will pop up three like circles a gamecube controller i'll do it then meanwhile let's stop just look at the characters oh yeah and here's here's one of my other drawings you saw my anime studio pro version now you look at this one there I am. I, I wear a very long shirt that literally looks like a dress. In fact, uh, y yesterday I actually did wear a dress. Yeah, I know I wore a wedding dress before, but eh, let's not talk about that. Uh, let's just say... That, um... Yes, before you ask, that right there is a dress I wore in the, the wig. I mean, nothing. <coughs> Still, that shirt looks like a dress. I'm worried that now that I compressed the video more because it was at full 1080p uh, or whatever. It was HD quality, but it like took up three gigabytes per video on this tablet, and sadly th there's little space for that. So I apologize for only the mere high quality video here, but the video itself will be exported as HD. But something tells me it's gonna compress this, and you're not gonna be able to see these drawings. I should have chose 720p, but who knows? ES File Explorer has to do its uh, compression, and in the background, it's still ongoing. But still, here's a little helpful layout of this very small window. <laughs> Total time on the right. Position and sound. That's probably that long... No, wait, no, no, it's not. It's, it's the little time off to the left. Three is sound waves, which resembles a line in both versions. Controls for sound at the very bottom. Um, there's something wrong here. That's only four buttons. What is that? Rewind, play, stop, and record. Um, I forgot about the second button. Fast forward. Still. Then five menus, which is typical for a Windows program. Or should I say app? Even though not even Microsoft knows what an app is because. Because to this day, they still say, uh, where is it? It's, where is it? Because they still say, pin this program to the taskbar. Yeah, um, what's a program, Microsoft? You've told me what an app is. What is a program? Why are there still folders named program files and program data? Uh, Microsoft, you should have never decided to change the uh, name of that. Also, is this transition? Oh no, and then suddenly next, we jump straight back to that comic. <laughs> Oh my! Oh. A, what does it say? Oh my! I can't read this. Um, I don't even know what that says. The the treat act later. The no trio stack up R. Hygiene.
the uh, something and hyper strike. And there, there. Hold it, superheroes. Doctor Dark is in the city. Whoa! Whoa, indeed. Come on, let's go, team. Ha! It looks like the Super Zeros. Something, but will they? Think otherwise, Doctor Dark. Huh? <laughs> Cause we're here. <laughs> Where's he got the gun from? <laughs> The future. Oh, that's it. <laughs> then I never finished uh, the the pose at the end. That's true. Four scrambles. That resembles it up. Oh no! No, another one. The mixture. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this this is almost like the my book, but arguably worse. I mean, the my book had some old embarrassing things like general mini crappy samples popping up in my music, <laughs> lots of bad choices, lots of weird content. But it still brought back some memories. This may, but not as many as the my book. It has more embarrassing stories. <laughs> yeah, some reveal more embarrassing stuff there in it. Nothing about oh I don't know, cute looking girls, cute looking wands, which I literally spent like lots of minutes talking about in one of the Let's Develop Portal mods, and lots of girly little cute weapons. Gotta admit the the cure stick. Pine flute and the uh, peach rod are pretty cute weapons for a fresh pretty girl. Still there. Now we need to read this embarrassingness. <coughs> hey, Kai! You there? Story character's dead on me. Hmm? Kai? Is that really you, Kai? He said, yes, it's me, Zane. Then, uh, <gasps> Ellie Bit. Yes, this is about the Ellie Bits, in case you wonder. <laughs> and that's literally what they do in the game right there, by the way. It's the red one, I think. <laughs> oh, look, gray, gray. And I spelled it with an A, the American way. I normally spell it G-R-E-Y, by the way. If you ever see that, don't think I'm British. No, my lack of accent will give that away. But that's gray GameCube controller? wonder if we still have that controller. Because <laughs> I can totally imagine it in my mind right now. This one says, look, something. <laughs> the meatball, zoom in on the GameCube controller. <laughs> By the way, I know you could say that, um, you could say, um, Zane, you say that your human anatomy looks really bad and it's not based on any real anatomy. But hey, look at my older drawings. There's some weird anatomy right there. Arms coming out of the middle of their body without any shoulders. <laughs> Even Mary has little tiny shoulder um, circle things. And her arms come from them. So This reminds me of Super Mario Sunshine because it's how the text will pop up. Three like circles. A GameCube controller. I'll do it. The meanwhile, let's stop. Just look at the characters. Oh yeah, and here's here's one of my other drawings. You saw my anime studio pro version. Now you look at this one. There I am. I I wear a very long shirt that literally looks like a dress. In fact, uh, y yesterday I actually did wear a dress. Yeah, I know I wore a wedding dress for, but eh, let's not talk about that. Uh, let's just say that um. That right there's dress I wore in the, the wig. I mean, nothing. <coughs> Still, that shirt looks like a dress. I'm worried that now that I compressed the video more because it was at full 1080p uh, or whatever, it was HD quality, but it like took up three gigabytes per video on this tablet, and sadly, th there's little space for that. So, I apologize for only the mere high quality video here, but. <coughs> The video itself will be exported as HD, but something tells me it's going to compress this and you're not going to be able to see these drawings. I should have chose 720p, but who knows, ES File Explorer has to do its uh, compression and in the background it's still ongoing. <coughs> so the characters here are a floating head, 
though it does not have a name below it. Me, I look really weird. I look like I'm wearing a dress, literally. Then there's Daisy the dog, the Labrador Retriever from Nintendo Dogs. And yes, I do own a stuffed animal that literally is the Labrador Retriever. And yeah, it does resemble Daisy in some ways, but still, yeah, Daisy from Nintendo Dogs. Yes, I did play that before. It actually was a good game, I guess I'll admit. I actually own the new Nintendo Dogs cats, but I haven't played it. So the oh no, you don't! <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great, and here comes Tails. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Oh my goodness! A mouse tails prowler! <laughs> this is like a weird crossover. Trust me, there's actually another story in one of these uh, books, and it's literally a big text story, and... Oh no. <laughs> this reminds me of what my mind would do nowadays, where I'd be like, let's look at very carefully at how the um, anime girls hold their cute little weapons that I own. Just so I can admire how I'm holding the same cute weapons as them, and also how that they would stick straws in their mouth. I mean, nothing! Um. Oh, Kai, what's that thing you're holding? It's a capture gun! Ooh! <laughs> oh! John, it's you! That's if you're curious from, uh, I don't know if it's from Horseman, A Wonderful Life, or Horseman, Another Wonderful Life, but the children in that game look really similar. There's just differences in their hair, and I think their clothing design. <coughs> Wait, but based on how I think this is the boy farmer, it must be A Wonderful Life. Hmm. Uh-oh. Ha ah, Mr. Eggy! No! <laughs> like a what? <laughs> I doubt that Madison would ever look at her stories and be like, Oh, I'm just going to stick these online. I'm the only one brave enough to show this old stuff to the world. Ha ha ha! No one ever wants to touch me! Black Ellie bit. Those things are kind of scary when you accidentally try to capture them and they fly towards the screen. <laughs> oh no, you don't! Uh, so the same way! You asked for it! Oh my, I remember this part. <laughs> ah! Stay back! Ah! Okay, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Son tells me my voice acting would still be great in World of Kirby Craft. <laughs> I really got into it like this. Baby first TV. Watch your baby blossom. Yeah, get to the point already. Here comes Daisy. She talks. Yeah, I'd rather something was saying. So get to the point already. Oh my! And here's a running gag that I had back in the day, where, um, whenever this show would come on, she'd be scared. Widget and his wonder machine. Yeah, don't ask me why I still remember these things. I don't know what order this even goes on. Widget? Yes! Thanks a moose, dear. Some, what was that? Was that the one that looked like a Hello Kitty ripoff or something? I don't, I don't know. Which, oh yeah, oh yeah, here it is. What's these better, Zane? Which is something scary. Uh, yes, there. <laughs> and then rarely it comes to what looks like a dream. But follow me, my dreams do not look this weird. <laughs> I almost wish that there was still a way to record videos of those things. I would probably just stick the videos where I'm faced. Well, right on Facebook and uh, YouTube. I'd probably put them on YouTube and then link them on Facebook. That'd be genius. But they'd probably be too, too large for Google. Oh well, though. Sleep in Elibit with what looks like the letters O, R, and E right there. <laughs> ah! The capture gun? This can't be true. Oh! Also, I look like a girl right there! Oh, hi! I look like a girl! Look at that. I look like a guy. Oh, I'm a girl all of a sudden! <laughs> what? Well, then again, me owning the girls, me owning the girls' weapons. Even owning cups, and you can argue what does cups that do? They think, well, um, the Cure Fru Mix is actually, um, literally a strolled cup in, uh, Hard Catch Pretty Cure designed for the fairies. So, yeah, it's, it's not just a sippy cup either. They literally, they don't, like, hold it up to have gravity pull the, you know, juice out of it. 
They literally hold it like someone would uh, a cup with a straw coming out of the top of it, and there's like a little orange straw and even buttons on the sides. You'd have to see it because the buttons are placed like on the lid of a restaurant cup where there's little buttons where some people sometimes push them for like diet and stuff. Yeah, it literally almost looks like a cutesy version of a restaurant cup. That's right up my alley, pretty cure. Now, could you make one of the girls drink of so I can own it too? <coughs> well, still. <coughs> still, after me wearing a dress, I think that's taking the point a bit too far. <laughs> Not only am I owning cute weapons, cute girls, cups, cure fru mix, but now I'm also owning dress. I'm getting that close to the girl. So... Ah, cure fruit mix. The restaurant cup equivalent. It's still a... Huh? Uh, what's that say? <laughs> well, what's that say? No one can probably even read it because it will not focus. It doesn't autofocus and touching the screen makes it take a picture. I got a question. <coughs> Who at Google thought that was a good idea? <coughs> this is also another little running gag. Uh, Basically, on Baby First TV, there was a show that would come on on the Rainbow, I don't know what it's called, there's like something about Rainbow Dream thing or something. But like at nighttime, a bunch of peaceful shows would come on, like that Sandman thing I probably mentioned before. And basically, there was like this mobile thing that would come up. Back in the day, it was sort of 3D, but it didn't look that 3D. And it looked all bright and colorful and stuff. It still looks colorful, but after a while, they replaced it with more high quality 3D. And it was like in a dark room, you're staring up at the ceiling, and there's a mobile, and it's spinning around. And while it plays, one of the songs, I would call it the Scary 3D Mobile, and literally, <laughs> it would play some pretty weird music. So, some of them would sound good, though. I would just hate how it faded out at the end, because the, the, the music, it might have sounded good if the music would have kept going, but it's much like the Peekaboo Monster and stuff. Why put the music in the background? Lots, lots of questionable choices by Baby First TV. Don't question why I looked at a TV show for babies, but what? If we if we owned it, I might as well look at it myself. What? I think. Oh yeah. Oh my. Is this is this a dream? It does not say it's a dream, but I think it is a dream. Hmm. So. Look at this. I'm trying to see. Hmm, I don't know. I'm looking at these. I I, I don't see it. Oh. But essentially, this is what all the dreams look like in this book. They're typically like strategy guide like maps that have little um squared letters and they point towards the different locations there's also information written in my bad uh, bad writing I bet nowadays I probably write more in cursive than this yeah cursive the thing that everyone else will gladly forget except for some type of signatures look at me and you find out I hold on to that Now this one right here, Heart Madness, this is only like a singing thing right there. The problem with some of my dreams, they come up with songs that don't exist, or modified versions that don't exist. Once I wake up, it only mainly plays music from video games and real life songs. That's stuff I can hear already on the computer, in higher quality. But in my dreams, it actually can play different audio. In this case, it's... Big girls don't cry. Was it Fergus? I just don't know. I, I just called it Big Girls Do Cry because it sounds like she's about to cry the whole time. Like, no, no, you, you don't say you don't cry. I hear you holding back the tears. <laughs> this one, I guess there's notes what you be singing right in the middle of these uh things and then then guitar replaced with harp. It also sounds like Let Me Love You from Mario. <laughs> No, this is not from any of the Mario games. His name is really similar, but no, it's not from one of the Mario games. I meant to say, Let Me Love You by Mario, the singer. 
But with Fergie, ah! I knew it was Fergie! And then, hmm, all I know is that this is the map of was Danny! Which, apparently that's actually Japanese. I would not actually try to pronounce that correctly now, because me and Mastin, whenever we would see this in the game, basically A Wonderful Life, they didn't edit out the little Japanese name of the location, which is basically the Japanese name of Forget Me Not Valley, but they stuck it up in the corner and they only removed it in Another Wonderful Life. So whenever we'd see it, we'd go, Was or Danny? Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> so that we say, Wiz or Danny? But honestly, it's not saying Was or Danny. It's just, Was or Danny? So, <laughs> this is obviously, though, the part of the town near Blue Bar. Obviously, Muffy's place. Muffy Air Air. <laughs> the, the robot you can marry. I don't even... Since I don't even remember these dreams, all I see is there's something written right here that I can't read. Then, A. Where does that A lead? A? Wait, apparently me going up the path to the villa just leads down here to this very straight path. Wait, maybe that's supposed to be the villa. But then there's the fish room. It's not the one I'm thinking of, so that looks like a DS, and there's Vlad from Danny Phantom. Wasn't he one of the enemies? He, like, like, wasn't he, like, Park Ghost and... They had to transform to, to tame him down. I'm thinking he was one of his enemies. Ah, Danny Phantom. Everyone will say they didn't miss that show. I guess I can agree with myself. <laughs> no, wait. Am I flipping backwards? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And speaking of that, here's Romana's villa. Yes, I remember the villa. So why is there a cassette player? Colorful lamp. Uh, um, 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 um. I don't remember how the villa looked. I thought they changed it in uh, in the Horseman DS, so I don't know. I thought in one case they had two staircases, and then it changed to one in one of them. The piano. Very badly drawn piano. Little Mina would stop and play. Speaking of that, it's time to return back to the story. This is what we're waiting for. You want it? Take it! Level 1. <laughs> oh no, you don't! How many times am I gonna, how many times are me and Kai gonna say that every time I'm about to get a elevator? I'm pretty sure when I played elevators I didn't say, oh no you don't every time I picked up a one in one of my own custom levels. Which I don't like how your custom levels were more limited, like you couldn't like limit their power level and have them level up. That would have been awesome if Elibits had the leveling up system from the story mode levels, so you'd have to level up your gun in order to go back and do stuff. That'd be awesome. But yeah, I guess they wanted to keep the level editor simple or like some game developers, make it so that your lulls could never be as good as theirs. Then again, they didn't let you use any of some of the cool objects they use in their lulls, so... Yeah. Zero, 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 say infinity, infinity? Yeah! yeah! <coughs> <coughs> so the characters here are a floating head Though it does not have a name below it. Me. I look really weird. I look like I'm wearing a dress. Literally. Then there's Daisy the dog. The Labrador Retriever from Nintendogs. And yes, I do own a stuffed animal that literally is the Labrador Retriever. And yeah, it does resemble Daisy in some ways. But still. Yeah, Daisy from Nintendogs. And yes, I did play that before. It actually was a good game, I guess I'll admit. I actually own the new Nintendogs cats, but I haven't played it. So oh no, you don't! <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, and here comes Tails. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my goodness! A mouse Tails Prowler! This is like a weird crossover, and trust me, there's actually another story in one of these, uh, books, and it's literally a big text story, and... Oh, no. <laughs> this reminds me of what my mind would do nowadays, where I'd be like, let's look at very carefully at how the, um, anime girls hold their cute little weapons that I own, just so I can admire how I'm holding the same cute weapons as them, and... Also, how that they would stick straws in their mouth. I mean, nothing! 
the, um... Oh, Kai, what's that thing you're holding? It's a capture gun. Ooh. <laughs> oh! John, it's you! That's if you're curious from, uh... I don't know if it's from Horseman, A Wonderful Life, or Horseman, Another Wonderful Life, but... The children in that game look really similar. There's just differences in their hair, and I think their clothing... Design. <clears throat> Wait, but based on how I think this is the boy farmer, it must be a wonderful life. Hmm. Uh oh. Ha! Ah, Mr. Eggy! No! <laughs> like a what? <laughs> I doubt that Madison would ever look at her stories and be like, oh, I'm just gonna stick these online. I'm the only one brave enough to show this old stuff to the world. Ah! <laughs> No one ever wants to touch me! Black Ellie bit. Those things are kind of scary when you accidentally try to capture them and they fly towards the screen. <laughs> oh no, you don't! Uh, so the same way! You asked for it! Oh my, I remember this part. <laughs> ah, stay back! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Son tells me my voice acting would still be great in World of Kirby Craft. <laughs> I wasn't really got into it like this. Baby first TV. Watch your baby blossom. Yeah, get to the point already. Here comes Daisy. She talks. Yeah, I'd rather something was saying, so get to the point already. Oh my! And here's a running gag that I had back in the day where um whenever this show would come on, she'd be scared. Widget and his wonder machine. Yeah, don't ask me why I still remember these things. <laughs> I don't know what order this even goes on. Widget? Yes! Thanks a moose dear. Some What was that? Was that the one that looked like a Hello Kitty ripoff or something? I don't know. Which? Oh yeah, oh yeah, here it is. What's these better, Zane? Widgets. Something. Scary? Uh, yes. They're... <laughs> And then rarely it comes to what looks like a dream. But follow me, my dreams do not look this weird. <laughs> I almost wish that there was still a way to record videos of those things. I would probably just stick the videos where I'm face Well, right on Facebook and uh, YouTube. I'd probably put them on YouTube and then link them on Facebook. That'd be genius. But they'd probably be too too large for Google. Oh well, though. Sleep in bit With what looks like the letters O, R, and E right there. <laughs> ah! The capture gun? This can't be true. Oh! Also, I look like a girl right there! Oh, hi! I look like a girl! Look at that. I look like a guy. Oh, I'm a girl all of a sudden! <laughs> what? Well, then again, me owning the girls, me owning the girls' weapons, even owning cups, and you can argue what does cups that do? They think, well, um, the Cure Fru Mix is actually, um, literally a strolled cup in, uh, Heart Catch Pretty Cure, designed for the fairies. So, yeah. It's, it's not just a sippy cup either. They literally, they don't like hold it up to have gravity pull the, you know, juice out of it. They literally hold it like someone would uh, a cup with a straw coming out of the top of it. And there's like a little orange straw and even buttons on the sides. You'd have to see it because the buttons are placed like on the lid of a restaurant cup where those little buttons where some people sometimes push them for like diet and stuff. Yeah, it literally almost looks like a cutesy version of a restaurant cup. That's right up my alley, pretty cure. Now, could you make one the girls drink of so I can own it too? <laughs> well, still. <coughs> still, after me wearing a dress, I think that's taking the point a bit too far. <laughs> Not only am I owning cute weapons, cute girls, cups, cure fru mix, but now I'm also owning dress. I'm getting that close to the girl. So. Ah, cure fru mix. The restaurant cup equivalent. It's still a... Huh? Uh, what's that say? <laughs> well, what's that say? No one can probably even read it because it will not focus. It doesn't autofocus and touching the screen makes it take a picture. Okay, question. <coughs> Who at Google thought that was a good idea? <coughs> this is also another little running gag. Uh, Basically, on Baby First TV, there was a show that would come on on the Rainbow, I don't know what it's called, there's like something about Rainbow Dream thing or something. But like at nighttime, a bunch of peaceful shows would come on, like that Sandman thing I probably mentioned before. 
And basically, there was like this mobile thing that would come up. Back in the day, it was sort of 3D, but it didn't look that 3D. It looked all bright and colorful and stuff. It still looks colorful, but after a while, they replaced it with more high-quality 3D. And it was like in a dark room, you're staring up at the ceiling, and there's a mobile, and it's spinning around. And while it plays, one of the songs, I would call it the Scary 3D Mobile, and literally, <laughs> it would play some pretty weird music. So, some of them would sound good, though. I would just hate how it faded out at the end, because the, the, the music, it might have sounded good if the music would have kept going, but it's much like the Peekaboo Monster and stuff. Why put the music in the background? Lots, lots of questionable choices by Baby First TV. Don't question why I looked at a TV show for babies, but what? If we if we owned it, I might as well look at it myself. What? I think. Oh yeah. Oh my. Is this is this a dream? It does not say it's a dream, but I think it is a dream. Hmm. So. Look at this. I'm trying to see. Hmm, I don't know. I'm looking at these. I I, I don't see it. Oh. But essentially, this is what all the dreams look like in this book. They're typically like strategy guide like maps that have little um squared letters and they point towards the different locations there's also information written in my bad uh, bad writing I bet nowadays I probably write more in cursive than this yeah cursive the thing that everyone else will gladly forget except for some type of signatures look at me and you find out I hold on to that <coughs> Now this one right here, Heart Madness, this is only like a singing thing right there. The problem with some of my dreams, they come up with songs that don't exist, or modified versions that don't exist. Once I wake up, it only mainly plays music from video games and real life songs. That's stuff I can hear already on the computer, in higher quality. But in my dreams, it actually can play different audio. In this case, it's... Big girls don't cry. Was it Ferguson? I just don't know. I, I just called it Big Girls Do Cry because it sounds like she's about to cry the whole time. Like, no, no, you, you don't say don't cry. I hear you holding back the tears. <laughs> this one, I guess there's notes what you be singing right in the middle of these uh things and then then guitar replaced with harp. It also sounds like Let Me Love You from Mario. <laughs> No, this is not from any of the Mario games. His name is really similar, but no, it's not from one of the Mario games. I meant to say, Let Me Love You by Mario, the singer. But with Fergie, ah! I knew it was Fergie! And then, hmm, all I know is that this is the map of Was Danny! Which, apparently that's actually Japanese. I would not actually try to pronounce that correctly now, because... Me and Mass Cinnamon, whenever we would see this in the game, basically A Wonderful Life, they didn't edit out the little Japanese name of the location, which is basically the Japanese name of Forget Me Not Valley, but they stuck it up in the corner and they only removed it in Another Wonderful Life. So whenever we'd see it, we'd go, Was or Danny? Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> so that they say, Wiz or Danny? But honestly, it's not saying Wiz or Danny, it's just, Was or Danny? So, <laughs> this is obviously, though, the part of the town near Blue Bar. Obviously, Muffy's place. Muffy Air Air. <laughs> the, the robot you can marry. I don't even... Since I don't even remember these dreams, all I see is there's something written right here that I can't read. Then, A. Where does that A lead? A? Wait. Apparently, me going up the path to the villa just leads down here to this very straight path. Wait, maybe that's supposed to be the villa. But then there's the fish room. It's not the one I'm thinking of. It's that looks like a DS. And there's Vlad from Danny Phantom. Wasn't he one of the enemies? He like, like, wasn't he like Park Ghost and 
Did Danny Touch transform to, to take him down? I'm thinking he was one of his enemies. Ah, Danny Phantom. Everyone will say they didn't miss that show. I guess I can agree with myself. <laughs> no, wait, am I flipping backwards? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and speaking of that, here's Romana's villa. Yes, I remember the villa. So, why is there a cassette player? Colorful lamp. Uh, um, 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 um. I, I don't remember how the villa looked. I thought they changed it in, uh, in the Horseman DS, so I don't know. I thought in one case they had two staircases, and then it changed to one in one of them. The piano. Very badly drawn piano. Well, Mina would stop and play. Speaking of that, it's time to return back to the story. This is what we're waiting for. You want it? Take it! Level 1. <laughs> oh no, you don't! How many times am I gonna, How many times are me and Kai gonna say that every time about to get a... Elliot, I'm pretty sure when I played Elliot, I didn't say, Oh no, you don't! Every time I picked up a one in one of my own custom levels. Which, I don't like how your custom levels were more limited. Like, you couldn't, like, limit their power level and have them level up. That would have been awesome if Ellie Bits had the leveling up system from the story mode levels. So you'd have to level up your gun in order to go back and do stuff. That'd be awesome. But, yeah, I guess they wanted to keep the level editor simple. Or, like, some game developers make it so that your levels could never be as good as theirs. Then again, they didn't let you use any of some of the cool objects they use in their levels. So, yeah. Zero, 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 say infinity, infinity? Yeah!